6338. And like I said, I had a wonderful time staying there. I had a great tournament that you guys ran for me, and I can't thank you enough. Well, thanks, Dan. And just to let your listeners know, I know you're from South Florida, so if you want to get out of there and come up to Orlando for a weekend, you know, uh, in the summer we do have a awesome stay and play package, one room night and two rounds of golf for 179 in the summer. So, That's a deal. You can't beat that. Right. Well, I appreciate you coming on, Dave, and uh, sharing your insight with us. Next time you come up, we need to play together. Uh, it would be my pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take right. one more break, and we're going to be back with a little bit of travel news and some of Dan's deals. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned for more of the Golf and Travel Show. Cinderella story, out of nowhere, a former greenskeeper now about to become the Masters champion. <clears throat> it looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole! Red fly, call me chocolate fun, then I got good to go for strokes under, get out the way, if you wanna go play, cause I give it my all, every single day, have a lot of cash, cause I sing my parts, stacks and stacks, cause I'm making the cuts, you can't fathom my skills, I'm unreal, and we are back in time for one more message from our sponsor. If your business needs industrial workers or if you're looking for work, you got to call Labor Finders. Labor Finders places for temporary or temporary to hire opportunities for skilled, semi-skilled or general labor positions such as plumbers, electricians, concrete workers, forklift operators, hospitality, office clerical, golf course maintenance, and so much more. Labor Finders has almost 200 offices nationwide near here in Boca Raton. They have offices in Homestead, Miami. Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and in Jupiter. So if you need legal, insured workers, or if you're looking to work, call Labor Finders. Toll free at 800-864-7749. That's 800-864-7749. Or just visit laborfinders.com. And we are back. And, um, yeah, I didn't get to play today, but I sure wish I did. But uh, I may actually get a chance to play on Sunday, I believe, in my... Uh, my, the closest golf course right in my backyard, pretty much Hammock Creek, uh, Jack Nicholas Design up in Palm City. For those of you... Uh, Southerners down here, it's a bit of a haul, but uh, for me, it's my backyard, so it'll be nice, uh, although they are predicting some rain, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, a little bit of travel news. Uh, again, stories that we've been covering for weeks now because they just don't want to go away, and uh, we'll start with the airlines, and of course, um, they have uh, not been looked upon too favorably in the news of late. I wonder if some of the things that they got caught on video doing or things that they've been doing all along and just weren't caught, my guess is yes. Um, but United Airlines, uh, their CEO, Oscar Munoz, um, he finally had to uh, explain that their internal investigations are, are kind of complete with that uh, incident where they um, ripped uh, Dr. Dow out of his seat and smashed his head and broke his nose and knocked out his teeth and... Um, well, you know, they call that customer service, I guess. Um, you get a little bonus, a little extra. But um, they, they, he came out and said that many things went wrong that day. And um, duh. And they, they've made a lot of changes, it seems. Uh, Congress was uh, is still talking about um, looking into it and, and perhaps changing laws that require the airlines to treat their customers with a little bit more um, decency and respect, perhaps, than than beating the hell out of them. Um, so it seems they're going to change things and, and, uh, they've also upped the amount of cash that they could pay. Although a lot of folks say that they're, they're never going to pay like $10,000 for you to get off your flight because there are people that will take 800 or a thousand or, or whatever. Um, they also claim that they're not going to ever remove somebody once they've already been seated. They're going to reduce, uh, the number or amounts of overbooked, uh, folks that they put on each plane. 
Uh, so it's less likely that situations like this will happen. They're not going to call the police to come uh, other than in extreme conditions. So they, they basically made multiple changes. And they made a settlement with the good doctor as well. Uh, they did not say what the settlement was. I'm sure it was rather large. Um, but uh, hey, it's, it serves them right. In the meantime, um, uh, this gentleman, Oscar Munoz, um, who it seems that he was uh, like next in turn to become the company's chairman uh, for United. And it was announced that he is no longer slated to become the company's chairman. As a matter of fact, I'd be surprised if he remains the CEO for, for much longer. Um, these kinds of attitudes, they, they emanate from the top down, and I truly believe that his leadership is um, certainly questionable at this point. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's not going to get out of the news that quick. Um, the other airlines, of course, are getting into the act. Um, uh, this past week, a gentleman, a Wisconsin man, he was um, forced off of a plane that was heading for Milwaukee, because he insisted on using the bathroom after the plane was delayed on the tarmac for a considerable amount of time. He had asked if he could use the bathroom. They said no. A half hour later, he had to go. He had to use it. And um, he, he just he just couldn't wait. And, and to be honest with you, I, I mean, I guess we all can understand or relate uh, as, as a guy who's a little bit on in his years. Um, hey, you know, things like that happen. Well, they, they not only threw him off the plane. Um, they forced the entire plane to empty out as well, delaying everybody two hours. The guy was humiliated, embarrassed. Um, you know, I, I just don't get it. Uh, if, if these planes are going to sit on the tarmac for that long, they're going to have to learn to, to make accommodations for people. You know, it, it just, um, especially if somebody says that this is an emergency. I mean, what's the guy supposed to do? So, you know, Delta is no better than United. They they really all need to stop this. It's just it's just not right, and it's it's gotten uh, really out of hand. Um, you know, to add insult to injury, this past week on United, they were flying a uh, a very very famous pet um, that somebody had purchased here in the states from overseas. It was this um, giant uh, rabbit. It seems that uh, potentially was going to grow to be one of the largest rabbits around. And, uh, you know, it had like special genetics and lineage and, and whatnot. And um, somebody had paid a lot of money for this uh, pet. Um, but more importantly, it was a pet. And um, it, it somehow died uh, under the care of United in, in their cargo, I suppose, the, the way it was sent. It, it was um, 10 months old, three feet long. It was checked for health before it left. It was in perfect health before it got on the plane. But mysteriously, somehow, it did not survive the flight. So, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I'm a pet lover, and um, I, I think they need to look into that as well. It's, it's, just, um, it's, it's just not right. Um, on the other hand, uh, going against the tide, uh, a lot of airlines have been canceling flights to Cuba because they've, uh, they all ran to get routes. They put on tons of flights, and they've been flying with tons of empty seats, which is something that the airlines, if any of you fly, you know that you're not going to find empty seats on any plane. As a matter of fact, they overbook them with too many people. Um, so many of the airlines have canceled routes. Uh, some of them are canceling their service completely to Cuba. However, uh, JetBlue has decided that they're going to add more flights. They would like to scoop up the ones that are being given up by Spirit and Frontier, uh, um, you know, in the next month or so. So they are bullish on Cuba, and perhaps um, maybe they have more financial strength that they can hang on because I, I think part of the problem is is the lack of hotel rooms. So a lot of folks are a little bit nervous about that. Uh, Airbnb has really been the preeminent locator for uh, people to have a place to stay because the hotels are, are pretty full and, and perhaps not all of them are in the best condition as well. A lot of that will change. There'll be plenty of investment in the infrastructure and things will get better. And, and airlines like JetBlue are kind of gambling on that for the future, that, that things will get better and, and they're going to be locked in with these routes. Um, let's change uh, gears to a little bit of um, cruise line uh, news. Of course, we talk about that a lot, too, being here in Florida. They're all headquartered here and tons of cruises emanate from here. We always have a lot of deals on cruises. But this is something that caught my eye. Um, the entertainment on cruises you know, it, it can be decent, it can be fun, it can be a little cheesy, um, but it seems that uh, the competition is heating up and the cruise lines, they're, they're trying to do better when it comes to packages with uh, beverages included and uh, different kinds of um, 
uh, food that they're providing, different rest restaurants, upscale restaurants. And Norwegian Cruise Line just announced that their feature theater show on a new ship, the Norwegian Bliss, is going to be the Broadway show Jersey Boys. And that that has, I, I believe, finished its run on Broadway or just recently did. Not long ago, it finished its run in Las Vegas. Those were both runs of like a decade. Um, extremely successful. I did see the show. I thought the show was wonderful. So kudos to Norwegian. And hopefully all of the cruise lines will follow suit and start upgrading the quality of their entertainment. Uh, you're out there oftentimes for a week or more. And it's kind of nice that they can, uh, you know, kick it up a notch or so. So, so kudos to them. Um, another thing that caught my eye this past week, and it's something that we've spoken about on and off, uh, over the, the weeks, I suppose. And that is, um, tourism that not relates to golf, um, not to food, but to drink. And obviously, uh, wine tourism has been big for, for the longest time. All the wineries, especially out in uh, Napa and Sonoma. Um, my daughter actually is, is going to go visit uh, Sedona, where I was uh, not long ago, and they've got a couple of really fun wineries there, so she was inquiring about that. So so people do travel for for um, uh, wine, and, and now some people are, are traveling for other kinds of distilleries, but beer-related travel seems to be really getting bigger and bigger, and uh, it seems that... Um, a major epicenter of this is a place that I visited not long ago, and I was made aware of, of the beer industry and how big it is there. And that was in um, Asheville, North Carolina. So um, it seems that they're going to be hosting in uh, Asheville the first beer marketing and tourism conference. That's how big it is that all of these different regions and cities that are focusing on all these different microbreweries, they are uh, more and more trying to get tourism to come. And, um, you know, places like Portland and, and Asheville and Denver and San Diego, Portland, Maine, as well as uh, Portland, Oregon, um, these are places that the beer industry has just taken off. And from time to time, I talk about, um, you know, not only uh, like Isla Morada, we had them actually as a guest on the show. They've, they've got a great uh, craft brewery down there. But um, the festivals as well have gotten really big. Uh, I know at PGA National, they've, they've got a big beer thing going on. And, and, and uh, further south here in Florida, there are several of them as well. And it just seems that this is getting bigger and bigger. And there are more players and more different types of beers from different kinds of breweries. It, it's, um, it's just fascinating to me, uh, this cult um, that has grown of folks that, that are just into tasting all these different um, flavors that they come up with. And, you know, to be honest with you, I, I used to drink a lot more beer than I do now. My, my stomach just isn't, doesn't handle it so well. But so I kind of missed the whole uh, beginnings of this revolution of this, this craft um, beer uh, brewing. And I, I took a trip where it was kind of featured, um, and this was in uh, Manassas, uh, Virginia. And I got a chance to visit a couple of the local microbreweries and taste some of the stuff that they're doing and, and the flavors that they're infusing into the different beers that they make. And it was an incredible eye-opening experience for me because I, I had missed several years of the development of this trend. And, and I thought it was maybe a little bit of a gimmick and, you know, that beer is beer and, you know, they, they all taste a little bit different. But some of these different microbrews, um, you know, the, the herbs and, and the, uh, uh, the flavors, you know, whether it be like a, a chocolate or a honey or the different um, kegs that they use that are perhaps reused from, um, you know, maybe bourbons and whiskeys and um, uh, coffee infused. And I, I mean, but, but you really taste these flavors uh, strong. It, it, it's it's not just, um, you know, it, it's not just talk like, you know, I, I'm not the biggest wine connoisseur. I, I mean, I enjoy a, a nice glass of wine, but there are some folks that they've got the palate where they could taste things that I can't taste and I don't quite get it. And I, I thought that perhaps that this beer craze would be similar. And I, I was totally wrong. So um, all I can say is is that it might be something that you want to look into. That uh, and, and I'll continue to, of course, report on it as, as time goes by, um, you know, the different festivals that are in the area or if I do see any uh, deals on any packages that um, – uh, we'll take you to some of these places where a festival or, or a, a really cool area that specializes in beer 
um, because I, I think there's an interest in it, um, much more than myself. I, I know everybody craves a good beer or, or five, so um, just be careful and make sure that you don't uh, drive afterwards. All right, I think what we're going to do is, is we are going to take our last break, and then I got a bunch of deals that uh, uh, have I got a deal for you. Um, bunch of deals, like I say, nearby, far away. Uh, you don't want to miss it, so stay tuned. We'll be back with more of the Golf and Travel Show. Four, three, two, one. Golfing is my new addiction. Counting strokes has improved my addiction. My lady's yelling out the window. Honey, come in. Soon it's time for dinner. And we are back. And, um... Coincidentally, one of the deals that I found for you is a place where I have stayed, I have played, and I was talking to some uh, folks today who... Um, who are very familiar with this resort. I believe that they actually did some work on it at, at one time in, in the building of the golf courses. And they had two incredibly beautiful golf courses, unique um, Lynx golf courses that you just don't see around here. And they recently, I believe, opened a third, which is just remarkable to me. And that would be Streamsong. A little bit further north in the state, kind of in the center of uh, nowhere, kind of hard to explain exactly where it is. Um, but this property is reclaimed, redeveloped. It was a mine at, that they rebuilt. And, you know, like I say, if, if you would like to play Lynx golf like they play over in Scotland, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, they also, of course, have four caddies, which um, if you use an electric cart, you are required to have one, which is not a bad thing because these are difficult courses and their advice is just a really great thing to have. Um, but this golf course, of course, can be very, very expensive, especially in season. In the summer, it's a little hot. It's in the central part of the state. But um, if you would like to get out there, they've got deals starting at a $170 per person per night based on double occupancy. It includes uh, luxury guest room accommodation, lakeside. I'm telling you, beautiful views of the lake, incredibly modern, upscale uh, hotel. Uh, you also get 18 holes of golf, your choice of either the blue or the red, and um, which are the first two. So I'm not sure about the other golf course, uh, what happened with that one. Maybe it hasn't opened yet, uh, but trust me, it doesn't matter. Uh, and full breakfast is included. And then they also have another package for 255 per night with uh, one night's combination, but 36 holes of golf and full breakfast. So um, trust me, the caliber of golf here you're talking about a two to three hundred dollar round most places to play on a course of this caliber so here you're getting your accommodations and your golf for that price or less uh i do recommend it so uh stream streamsongresort.com and uh that's where you'll find more information on that deal um now also let's see uh another resort right here in florida if you don't want to travel too far is uh, Innisbrook. Um, they do host the PGA Tour not so long ago. The Copperhead is, oh, it is a great golf course. It's a difficult golf course. Uh, this is in Palm Harbor, so this is in the Tampa area on the other side of the state. And um, again, it can be very, very pricey in season. But this particular deal that I found on um, Travel Zoo, where I find a lot of my deals, is a great deal. Um, it doesn't include the golf, but... For only $89, you can get a room uh, throughout the summer, a deluxe room. Uh, kids 17 and under stay free. It includes a $30 daily food and beverage credit. Not per stay. This is per day. So you pay 89 you get 30 back, uh, which is enough to cover breakfast and, or drinks for two. Um, and uh, I, if you do want to play... It, um, they have packages that start at 198, which will offer access to the Copperhead as well. And that's the, uh, Valspar tournament. So this is a really, really good deal at a place that's cool. Their pool complex is wonderful for the kids, uh, all sorts of waterfalls and slides and neat stuff like that. So, and not too far. Um, speaking of not too far, uh, St. Lucia, not too far. Um, sometimes there are airfield fare deals, so it doesn't cost too much. Other times it might, so you gotta look into that. But hotels can be very expensive there as well. This deal I found on Travel Zoo as well for St. Lucia at the St. Lucia, um, the, the Windjammer, 
Landing Villa Beach Resort. It's a four and a half star property. You can get an ocean view room with breakfast for $149 a night, which trust me in St. Lucia, that is a very, very good deal. That's, uh, throughout July and August. Um, it includes breakfast for two as well, which itself would be $52, uh, $100 credit per stay. Um, for as little as one night up to four nights, $200 credit if you go five to eight nights, 300 for nine nights and longer. That's a little bit much for me. But um, they do note, though, that they do have some minor building renovations going on in the property during the summer, but they're keeping the noise and the impact to a minimum. But these prices are unheard of on this island. So uh, you may want to go check that out. Um, another thing that I saw that was kind of neat was um, United Airlines. And, you know, Obviously, you run the risk that they'll beat the hell out of you, but they have what they're being called as uh, in the media their, their apology fares. So it seems that a lot of people are staying away from United, and their bookings have dropped to the point where they've had to start like having these random sales that they're not even announcing. And rates such as round trip to Sweden for three hundred sixty four dollars, or round trip to Paris for four thirty three. So. Um, you know, they're like I say, uh, they're, uh, a website called Cheap Flights. They're, the guy, the founder of it, he's the one who kind of termed it the apology fares. So, um, hey, you know, if, if you're not afraid of being beaten, then uh, this might be the, the place for you to find a really good uh, deal on, on some airfare. Now, if you don't like to be beaten and you want a good deal on airfare, I would recommend the airline that I prefer to fly. They've not beaten me once. Um, and that would be Southwest. They've got some really good sales going on right now there as well. So you may want to just check that out. I've been getting some good deals on Southwest, and I just wanted to say that. Um, because, uh, you know, again, uh, to me, customer service is still important. So, uh, you know, a, a deal is a deal, but it doesn't mean that I, I want to be treated uh, that poorly. Another place that uh, an island that I've been to, a resort that I've been wanting to get to, I know other people that have gone there. Um, one of the best golf courses in the Caribbean, uh, known as the Teeth of the Dog. Uh, some of you may know where I'm talking about just by that, and that would be Casa de Campo, which is in La Romana in the Dominican Republic. Again, this is a five-star resort. In season, it is extremely expensive. But this time of year, this deal I found out on Travel Zoo, uh, which you got a book by May 10th, so you got a little time, but... I wouldn't waste too much time. You can get a room there for as little as $119 a night. This is unheard of, okay? These are Pete Dye Golf Lodge rooms, so you're right there on the golf course. Uh, you can upgrade um, for a, uh, a nicer room even, like an oceanfront room or something, for uh, a discount as well. Uh, for your stay, you'll get $100 resort credit, which is pretty cool. You get daily breakfast for two, which is $74. Let's face it, you're on an island, so everything is expensive. Um, and they will give you a complimentary upgrade to an elite room with a patio if they have availability when you check in. So for $119, let me tell you, that is an incredible deal. You can get flights relatively inexpensive um, to uh, the Dominican Republic. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know JetBlue does fly there. So, again, um, they will actually treat you like a human, uh, which is always nice when you're flying to be treated like a human. So uh, I do recommend that. And um, like I said, I've, I've never spoken to anybody who stayed at Casa de Campo who did not, um, first of all, think it was wonderful, think that the golf was incredible, and who are already planning to go back another time. So um, I can wholeheartedly recommend this place, even though I've, been to the Dominican Republic but have not stayed at Casa de Campo. And, of course, if you like to have a good cigar while you play golf, um, uh, play, they make some of the best cigars in the world right there in that region and um, some great beer as well. I believe Presidente is a Dominican beer that a lot of people enjoy drinking there. Um, I got one deal for you left, and uh, this is the one that is far away. All of the other ones were uh, relatively close to South Florida, but I got one for you that um, – this is about as far as away as, as you're going to get. Uh, a, a place that I've heard about, I've never been there. It is far away and typically extremely expensive. And we're talking about the, the Maldives. I, I mean, this is far. This is <laughs> but exotic and gorgeous. I'm looking at a photo of these little um, uh, overwater units that you're right on top of crystal clear water. And, I mean, this is just beautiful. And you can actually fly there from Miami at a price that's 
unheard of on uh, Qatar Air, Airways, which is one of the top rated airlines uh, in the world, um, for under a thousand dollars, actually nine hundred and two to nine hundred and thirty two dollars round trip, including tax. Um, you know, it stops in Doha. Um, you can actually uh, get complimentary tours of Doha if you would like as well. So I guess they allow you on and off privileges. So, um, you know, if you're looking for that bucket list thing, if you're looking for an exotic honeymoon, a, a, a second honeymoon, um, this might be for you. Uh, I'm not sure what the hotels there cost, but again, this airfare, my guess is, is at least half the typical price that you would pay. Um, so I, I, I would say that it's a good idea. Uh, I just want to remind everybody about those deals as well that I had mentioned earlier for um, uh, Rosen Shingle Creek. Like I said, I just stayed there and I had a wonderful time there. So they got their Father's Day special. They've got their stay in place special. Uh, they're they're all great. I just had a wonderful room and, and a wonderful stay, and uh, the golf course is just stupendous and in perfect condition. So you can go to Rosen Shingle Creek, and you can find out more information about that, or you can give them a call at 866-996-6338 for reservations. Uh, I want to remind everybody as well that the best way to keep up on who we're going to have on the show uh, from week to week is guests. Uh, I, I try and announce it every week um, by the middle of the week or so uh, so that you know who we're going to have. I'm already working on several guests for the coming weeks that I think um, you'll be interested in, some on the golf side, some on the travel side. So the best thing that you could do would be go to our Facebook page, and that would be facebook.com forward slash the golf and travel show. And if you go there and you like the page, then automatically every single week when I post my updates, you will, um, you'll be aware of who we're going to be having on the show. And, uh, trust me, I work really hard to find, um, guests that are going to give you a lot of information because, you know, you, you spend your hard earned money to go out and whether it's playing golf or, or going traveling or, or flying, whether it's in the region, in the Caribbean or going on a cruise. Trust me, there are incredible deals out there. There are mistakes to be made as well. Uh, I've done it all. I've uh, I've gotten incredible deals, typically things that people just can't believe. I've also made mistakes and uh, dealt with some less than scrupulous uh, hotels and um, uh, car rental companies and airlines. And, and the bottom line is, is that if you could listen to me and I can explain to you uh, where the good deals are and, and how not to make the mistakes that I've made, I can save you not only a lot of money, but time is is more precious, truly, than than money is. It's it's you can always um, earn a little bit more money, but when it comes to uh, time, um, I, I've heard many people, uh, professional people who speak for a living and and try and explain to people the meaning of life, basically. But um, that that there's nothing more valuable than time. Time is something that escapes all of us. And 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 to be honest with you, it it truly behooves you to make certain. That, uh, yes, you don't get ripped off. Yes, you get a good deal. But that when whatever money it is that you spend and whatever time it is that you allocate, that it's something that's going to be enjoyable for you and something that's going to help you grow. Uh, not something that's going to anger you. Not something that's going to, you know, you're going to get beaten up, you know, over. Um, you know, just, just something that's going to enhance your life. And, and in talking to a lot of people, um, especially smart people, um, who kind of understand the ways of the world. The, the one thing I think that most people regret is not having the opportunity to travel and go to places in this world. So I encourage everybody to do it. And, of course, uh, that's why we're here at the Golf and Travel Show, to help you um, do it right. So, again, Facebook.com forward slash the Golf and Travel Show. And we're going to be back, of course, next week with another great show. And everybody knows how to find us on uh Friday nights, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on WNN, 1470 a.m. and 95.3 FM, as well as uh, .com. Uh We replay it, of course, Sunday at 6 on WSBR, our sister station, 740 a.m., 96.9 FM and 103.9 FM. We'll be back again next week. Hopefully you'll tune in. Kiss and guitar in hand, and every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one man band. Homeward bound. You have been listening to the Golf and Travel Show, hosted by Dan Chu. Heard live every Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1470 WWNN, 
and replayed every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. on 740 a.m. WSBR. Visit the show on Facebook and tune in next week. If you are in South Florida or traveling the world, hit them straight. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.